Guys, uh, first off, my account has been struck with a copyright strike, so it doesn't really matter. Second off, um, Cymbalta uh, thing or dual lexatine. I've been taking it for the past almost two months now. Um, actually, oh, I've, I've been taking it for two months. Um, it was, uh, it was, it's definitely been an interesting road. Um, I, I will be honest with you. I have missed dosages, uh, at the same time each day, but I have gotten my dosage every single day, except for once. Uh, and that was a screw up and I it completely screwed me up. Um, so medication wise, um, how is it, how is it side effects? What does it do to you? How do you feel when you take it? Personally for me, it has helped drop my anxiety tenfold. I have completely gone a lot better like things have just gotten a lot better for me um my depression has dropped i feel so much happier i feel more confident about things and i don't feel so dead inside maybe that was something to do with streaming maybe i was completely drained of all energy from that and staying inside all day but being at work helps um and that's something i want to talk about for a moment before we continue on uh, I don't know all the side effects. I want to say that clear. Um, I've noticed that I do have a bit more fatigue and I'm quite a bit more tired than I used to be, but maybe that's just my body. I also have delayed sleep phase syndrome and I've been having to wake up a lot earlier every morning than I'm used to. So I'm being going to bed earlier. So that might be, you know, I'm getting affected by that. But the actual, um, the, the actual medication itself is not terrible. Um, it's helped me in many, many ways. Uh, but I wanted to say, you should, I go on tangent still. So you want to make sure that you have an active daily schedule because depression will limit you in a lot of ways. And you have to remember that you are not your depression. Your depression is not you. Depression might be a part of you, but it does not make you who you are. And you can you know, deal with it and manage with it. A depression is something you're probably stuck with for the rest of your life, but you can deal with it and manage with it. Remember, being depressed is different than actually having depression. Everyone gets depressed at one point or another in their life, but having depression is different. You are chronically just in pain and you, you just, you give up on life. So Cymbalta or Dulexetine has helped me in a lot of ways. I'm not saying it's going to work for everyone. And I was curious, I actually typed this in, um, Cymbalta and then Tired, and I found a lot of people that are saying that it's it's bad. I'm saying that a lot of people are saying that it's, it's bad for you and there's a lot of people who have withdrawal symptoms. Now I will talk about that because it is a medication and because it is a serotonin inhibitor, um, I believe, yeah, and because it, 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 it get, releases more serotonin in you, um, tiredness happens, but also withdrawal in a way does actually happen. And that was happening to me as well. Uh, when I went without it, I was felt lost and I felt a little bit confused on it. Um, I'm paying about $30 per tab or per, um, bottle, or in this case, a box of it for the first time, I'm paying about $30 here in Canada. So medication wise, it is, you know, you're for, you're basically, let's do the math. Uh, I actually have not done the math on this yet, so I'm literally just doing this right now. I'm pulling up calculator on this computer. So, uh, and I don't want address book. Oops, sorry. I apologize. I should probably cut this, but whatever. I like to keep things raw. So we're going to do 30, and we're going to times that by 12. That's $360 a year. $360 a year, if you're a working person, you're making enough, is not a bad investment if it keeps you focused and keeps your sanity. You're basically spending... Um, you know, half of that already on Netflix and stuff and your internet. So, I mean, it adds up, but it's, it's something, um, especially if you're a student or you have coverage for it, it's going to, you know, it'll, it'll help you out. So make sure again, you have an active lifestyle with it. Make sure you're getting walks, make sure you're getting enough air or make sure you're drinking enough water. Things I sometimes forget to do and often forget to do. Um, so yeah, Symbolt itself though is I'm not going to talk in scientifics because I don't know. I'm not going to pretend I know. I don't know uh, exactly what it does. I know for me personally, it's helped me as a human being. It's helped me as someone who has gone through a lot of garbage and I'm trying to cope with it. Has it dropped my anxiety drastically? Do I still stutter? Do I still make mistakes? Absolutely. I mean, it's human. But um, you might have seen the commercials on Cymbalta or Duloexetine. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. doesn't really matter. You might have seen the commercials on it. And I want to let you know that it's not all bad. 
Um, there is obviously side effects and there is issues if you have any problems with suicidal thoughts or you have other problems, um, you know, with liver or something. It, it might over time cause some liver damage, but as it is for me, it's helping me right now and it's keeping me, quote unquote, quote unquote, normal. It's keeping me stable and functioning as an adult. And my parents pretty much in the first couple of days, which shouldn't happen, but maybe it was kind of a... Um, uh, a, a, a placebo effect for me. I noticed it almost immediately. Um, like the first day or two, I was just feeling so much more myself. Maybe that's because I was getting more sleep and I wasn't, you know, constantly streaming and everything. So that was able to bring it back. But yeah, Cymbalta is going to, might help you. Um, so don't be afraid of it. But I understand that, you know, have some skepticism with it and be skeptical because. There are a lot of negatives too, but it's an antidepressant. And if it doesn't work for you, try it out for three months. If it hasn't helped you out, then talk to your doctor and find out what actually works for you because some medication didn't work for me. The first, first antidepressant I tried was Cytoplorem or Celexa. I was off the walls. Two weeks, I wanted to kill myself. Could not do it. I lost all energy to live. I had to get off of it. And until that, after that point, I tried to manage, having glasses also has helped me because my eyesight's garbage, but um, yeah, having having the medication to help me has helped and been a lot better. Had I have probably been on Cymbalta years ago, my life probably would have been a bit better. I wouldn't have probably had as many problems and everything, and I probably would have been able to do a lot more things. But yeah, there it is. That's This is a actual account of the medication. If you are not on it and you are considering taking it and you have doctors talk to you about it, um, consider trying it out. Try it for a month. See what happens. Give it three months, I would say. See what happens. If you start to notice problems, you start to notice heart palpitations, immediately talk to your doctor. Don't consult WebMD. Don't do this. Your depression, if you have depression and you're not just depressed, but you actually have depression and suffer from it, then see if you can fix that. There's also a TED talk that happened. Say what you want about TED talks it's by Dr. Andrew Solomon. It's called depression, the secret we all share. I think this will also help you out too, to understand it. I showed it to a few friends and it's helped them help me with the relationships. It helped me a lot of ways understand myself. Depression is not something that you're stuck. It's not, you might be stuck with it for life, but it doesn't mean you have to let it control you. Thank you for watching. Like it, dislike it, whatever. It doesn't really matter. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.